Hey guys, it's Hannah, and today I'm coming to you with a video about the books that I am currently reading. It's been a while since I have done one of these videos, and I feel like I haven't told you guys what I've been reading or what I've finished reading in a very, very long time, so I thought I may as well update you all and let you know what five, four books I'm currently in the middle of? I don't remember. <laughs> but there's really no need for a long intro, so without any further ado, let's just get into the books that I am currently reading. So the first book that I am currently reading, or actually currently listening to on audiobook, is Circe by Madeline. Miller. This book follows the story of Circe, as the title suggests. If you know anything about Greek mythology, Circe is the one who turned Odysseus's sailors into swine. She's basically a nymph, and she was born to the titan Helios, and it's kind of just like her story, her backstory. I'm about like 11 chapters into the book right now, and I'm loving it so much. I'm a huge fan of Greek mythology, and this book is just reminding me of why I like it so much, and also making me want to go back and read like all the little stories about each of the different gods and goddesses and nymphs and demigods and all that stuff because I've forgotten so much since I first learned about it. But I've been hearing nothing but good things about this book for so long now and so I'm really really happy that I decided to pick it up because it is phenomenal. The writing is incredible, Circe is a wonderful protagonist, she's so interesting and I love the dynamic that she has with all the other characters as well and it's just so great to see so many different stories that I already know like bits and pieces of come into play in this story as well and yeah it's a fantastic read. Also the audiobook is phenomenal, I love the narrator, and I'm really really enjoying my experience of listening to it so far. I have a feeling that when I finish this one it's probably going to be one of my favorite books that I've read this year and probably one of my favorite books I've ever read. The next book that I'm currently reading is actually a reread for me and that is Vicious by V.E. Schwab. I'm rereading this book because I want to read Vengeful, the sequel to this book that came out back in September that I still have not picked up. As you all know V.E. Schwab is one of my favorite authors if not my favorite author, and Vicious is one of my all-time favorite books. I read it back I think in 2015 and I fell completely in love with this story and it's been phenomenal reading the book again because I'm just being reminded of how much I love this story and these characters. If you don't know much about the story, it follows these two students who are also roommates and best friends, and one of them is trying to write his thesis on the existence of EOs, or extraordinary people, so he's trying to prove that they exist, and then both of them end up kind of like experimenting and um, things go south from there. So the story takes place in that timeline as well as 10 years later where one of them has just gotten out of prison and the other one has been on a murder spree. So yeah, there are a lot of components to the story and I love it because of that. It's so complex. And again, like I said, revisiting the story has been so wonderful because I'm just being reminded of why I fell in love with this book in the first place and why I fell in love with V.E. Schwab's storytelling and her writing because this was the first book I ever read by her. So it's really nice to go back to that after I've read a bunch of her other stuff. The next book that I'm currently reading is A Very Large Expanse of Sea by Tahara Mafi. This is the advanced copy. I do have the finished copy. It's right behind me. I just don't want to take it out of that pile right now. But this book takes place post 9-11 and it follows the story of this Muslim girl named Shireen who is kind of just dealing with the aftermath of 9-11 um, and what that means for her as a Muslim American teen living in the U.S. during that time. And so far it is phenomenal. <laughs> this is the first Tahara Mafi book I have actually read since um, I read the Shatter Me trilogy, which you guys know I'm not like a fan of that series. I love Tahar Mafi's writing, like I love her writing so much, I think it's beautiful, but I just did not like that story very much. So I was so excited when I heard about this book coming out because I thought that I would enjoy her contemporary a lot more, and so far that is very much true. I am very much enjoying this one. So yeah, I'm really really excited to continue on with this and hopefully I end up loving it and I can finally say that I loved a Tahar Mafi book because I really want to be able to because I do adore her writing. The next book that I'm currently reading is actually a graphic novel and I'm nearly finished with this one, but it's called Hey Kiddo, How I Lost My Mother, Found My Father, and Dealt With Family Addiction. This is actually a memoir, so it's nonfiction, and it's about this boy Jared's life as he deals with like family addiction. His mother is addicted to heroin and it's about how he was raised, the things that he dealt with, and so far, like I said, I'm nearly finished with it, but it is beautiful and honestly heart-wrenching and so raw. And I think this memoir will really, really resonate with people who have dealt with any of the things that Jarrett deals with in this book because it's just told in such a raw and honest way. It's so, so well written. The illustrations are absolutely beautiful. I love the art style. It's one of the first nonfiction books I've read in a while um, and it's kind of making me want to pick up more nonfiction. Uh, so I'm excited about that because I haven't really felt motivated to pick up nonfiction for a while. I think if I can find some more things that are similar to this that give off kind of like the same 
emotional like depth that I'm looking for in nonfiction, then I think I will definitely be getting into some more of them. But I love the way that this story is told. I think it's beautiful and breathtaking and very important. And the very last book that I'm currently reading is one that I just started. I very recently picked this up. I went to the bookstore, bought it on a whim, didn't know anything about it except for that some of the bookstore staff had recommended it, and they compared it to Harry Potter and said it was like the French version of that and it's actually that good. So I was like, I'll give it a chance. And that book is A Winter's Promise by Christelle Davos. First of all, can I just say that I love the cover of this book. I think it's so beautiful. But yeah, like I said, I really know nothing about this book. I'm only like 15 or so, 21, okay. 21 pages into it, so like I still have a lot left. Um, and right now I don't really know much of what's going on because it just started. But all I really know about the story is that it is magical. It's been compared to Harry Potter. The main character's name is Ophelia. She has some magical abilities. I think she can see like the history of objects when she touches them. And she can also travel through mirrors, which is really intriguing to me. And yeah, I just wanted like a nice new fantasy that I'd heard like nothing about. And I wanted to try something totally new, something that was like under the radar. I think this series has actually been out for a while now, but it was just recently translated to English from French. So yeah, I'm excited to try this. I'm excited to see where it goes. So far so good, but again, I can't judge it too much because I'm only 20 pages in. But yeah, I'm hoping that it's something I end up really enjoying. And also if any of you have read this book, please let me know because I would like to hear some more thoughts on it because I know literally nothing. But yeah, I'm excited. <laughs> but there you all have it. That is it for all the books that I am currently reading. Let me know in the comments down below if you have read any of the books that I mentioned in this video or if you're also currently reading them. I would love to hear any of your thoughts on them. Or you can just let me know any of the books that you're currently reading because I always love to hear that as well. If you would like to follow me on any of my social media and keep up with what I'm reading there, ask me any questions about it. All my links are in the description box as always, but thank you all so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you in my next video. Bye!